here we are. Normally, you're not allowed to get to Metro Kingdom for like a big chunk of the game, but I think we can just dive over there now. All right, so today we're gonna be hopping into a mod in Super Mario Odyssey that lets Mario jump infinite times with Cap. So it's pretty sick. Um, we're gonna start up a new file here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. All right, we gotta start off here with Mario. Wake him up real quickly, and we actually don't start with Cappy, so I can't immediately show you the mod, but we'll get him pretty soon here. Anyways, we have Cappy. I can show you all the uh, infinite jumping mod that we have on. Boom! And it just keeps going, and we can go literally forever. In fact, you see that Cap Tower right there? Normally, we'd have to get the first capture, which is a frog, go through that entire tower, and then make our way up to the top. But we're just gonna screw all of that and make it up like so. Boom. Let's just continue all the way up to the top of fight here. We might be able to get, like, way above it. Actually, there is something I want to try. In Super Mario Odyssey, the way that boss fight works, or boss fights work, is that, like, it puts an invisible sort of barrier around you, but the barrier isn't like infinite. So I think maybe we can get outside of it and escape the boss fight. I'm not sure. Come on. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I guess we can't break the game that bad. Let's just take out Topper here and uh, move on to the, the Cascade Kingdom. There's still the barrier up right now. I was thinking maybe we could try and like cap jump all the way over to that in the distance, Cascade Kingdom. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, we're already in Cap Kingdom, and we have yet to capture anything, so we're already breaking the game. Uh, why don't we break it more? I'm just gonna not even get this first moon and try and make our way up to uh, Madden Rudolph. Oh, bro, how am I about to choke this? It's not hard. Perfect. Oh, are you kidding me? I'd be super excited for that. Also, I literally can't see, but we made it up anyways. Okay, well, um... Here's, here's Madame Brudal. Uh, it doesn't look like we can do anything here, but what happens if we jump on the chain chomp? Absolutely nothing. We just go right through them. All right. All right, ready? Watch this first try. Oh, wait. Actually, first try. Give me Cappy. No. He got stuck up there. I guess we're just going to grab it regularly, but that's kind of boring. All right. Let's just skip our way all the way up here to Madame Brudal. Boom. And there we go. <laughs> Dino skip who? Yo! I'm actually trash, man. Wow, am I actually gonna die? Yo, I need to get to a rock ASAP. There's a uh, Madame Brudal down. That was light work. We didn't even have to use our OP mod. All right, so normally if you're a beta male, you need one more move. So you'd probably grab that one right there to get out of here. But no, we are not betas on this channel. We are alphas. Sigma male Mario. We're going to the moon. There is um an island in the sky up here that's normally not accessible until later in the game when you unlock... Oh, please don't choke. I'm trying to explain something here. Come on. Up here. Boom. Painting. You usually can't access this area until later in the game, but um, screw that. We're up here anyways. All right. We're here in the Sand Kingdom. Infinite jumps. I'm just going to go grab a few moons, get on out of here. I also am doing this in part so I can try and remember the speedrunning route of this game. I know we have to grab this bird. Nice. And I don't remember like anything about this. Boom. We got two. Go down the pipe. Boom. There we go. Boom. Watch this. Boom. We can just jump right on up here. I forgot there was a moon up here, but usually that would be a lot harder to get. This game would be kind of crazy if you could do infinite cap jumps. Or maybe if you could even just do like two cap jumps. That would be pretty sick because I feel like there's some crazy exploits you could do with this. All right. We're just going to infinite cap jump all the way up here to the top. I see a moon down here that we can grab. Usually we would not be able to get this in the normal speed run. At least I don't think you get this one. But now it's pretty light work. All we have to do is uh, that. All right, let's do a Jaxi skip, but not actually because I'm not skilled at this game. No, I was reading Chad, bro. With the coins, that was super cool too. Bro, infinite cap jumping is so sick actually. That's so fun. We need, how many more moons do we need, chat? Yeah, two more, all right. Where are we gonna find these? Where are some quick, easy moons? Cause I definitely missed some. All right, well, we got everything we needed. Let's teleport back to the Odyssey and continue on. But since we have this mod on, actually, might as well get some usage out of it. Let's try and get to the top of the inverted pyramid right now. That would be kind of sick. Just skip the entire thing. I'm gonna go do that real quick. I think we're at a good spot to start the jumping. This might take a while. Oh my gosh. This is a sick mod though. Look at this. We're floating, literally. Okay, this is a bit like excessive, having infinite cap jumps. Let's land right here, take a little break. 
But I think it would be a pretty cool mechanic to have like two cap jumps. Also, I don't want to fall down. I'm not trying to do this all the way again. Please, please, boom. And there we go. We didn't even have to climb the inverted pyramid at all and we're on top already. There we go. Obviously not like a perfect boss fight, but not bad for not speedrunning this game for a couple couple years. I have to fight Dan TDM on your second favorite. Who even is Dan TDM? I think he does Minecraft. Let me look it up. Let's see this. Who am I losing to chat? Bro, I'm losing to this guy? This guy? No, I'm just kidding. He's probably a much better YouTuber. <laughs> Maybe he actually uploads. That's all you really need to be to be better than me. All right, well, that's all the moons we need from here and some bonus moons too. We didn't even have to get that triple moon, but we did anyways. All right, uh, we're going Wooded Kingdom. So there's probably a lot more we can do in the Wooded Kingdom with this mod than uh, in the Lake Kingdom. Now, the reason why I chose to go to Wooded Kingdom now is because like everything is super high up. So we can just use this to absolutely cheat the entire game. We don't even have to like actually play. Boom. What's up here? Can we like break? Oh, are you kidding me, bro? All right, let's climb our way all the way up here real quick. I'm just gonna escape all the way over to this thing because why not? This is so broken, bro. I think we gotta go uh, take down this piranha plant and then we can get that that uh, boss fight going. There we go. Let's go down to the wooded kingdom or the, the deeper. <laughs> or not, or kill myself. We're gonna go up here real quick and just absolutely skip the entire tower. Nice. Oh, never mind. We're good. I thought I took that. It was all calculated right there, actually. Why not? Boom. Am I actually going to get the speedrun version of this boss fight? I can never do this one. For some reason, this is the hardest one for me. Even though it's, like, actually easy. No, I choked. Boom. All right, well, there's the there's the triple move. We just absolutely skipped the entire tower. Usually, you'd have to, like, do a ginormous mountain climb to get up this area, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to cheat. And right there in the distance is where the painting to Metro should be, I think. Actually, it's this way. Yeah, right on this wall. It might not actually be there because I think I was supposed to do um, the Lake Kingdom first. All right, entering this painting, it'll take us to, um, I believe, a huge floating island that we could have gotten to without this because we can just infinitely jump. I think the Metro painting is... I think I know where it is. Let me go try and grab it. All right, chat. We're gonna enter in Metro Kingdom right now, and using this mod, we should be able to just absolutely break the game and get into Metro without uh, without actually playing the game. So here we are. Normally, you're not allowed to get to Metro Kingdom for like a big chunk of the game, but I think we can just dive over there now. Hopefully I don't choke this, oh my gosh. We're gonna go up to this main area actually. There is a way to do this legitimately within the game. It's called a CRC. But that takes skill, and that is something I do not possess. Here we are, bro. Absolutely destroying the sequence of this game. Now, typically, uh, the Odyssey is supposed to be right here, but it's broken, so it's not there. Maybe we can progress with the story and just absolutely skip Wooded and Lake Kingdom and Cloud Kingdom and Lost Kingdom. Four kingdoms skip. We just go straight to the festival? Oh, never mind. I thought she was taking us right to the festival. Let's go gather up all of the, uh, the depressed instrument players. All right, there's one right up here. The trumpet player. All right, here's the bassist. I want to see what happens if we skip all four of those kingdoms that we have skipped and just continue on from, from this area of the, uh, the Metro Kingdom. Try festival without entering the pipe. How would I do that exactly? What do you think? Also, once we get to... Oh my... Yo, I'm just... I'm some trash. I can't lie, chat. We're going to make our way... I was going to say all the way up top, but I guess not. You're so good at SMO. You're probably the only only chat watching this right now that thinks that, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I really climbed all the way up there for absolutely nothing. There we go. There's our fourth moon. We're going to try and activate the, uh, the festival right now. And keep in mind, we have not done any of the Lake Kingdom. We did not beat the Desert Kingdom, the Wooded Kingdom. And we have not been to the Lost or Cloud Kingdoms. And we're already about to do the, uh, the festival. Oh, there it is. That giant hole. Yo, tell me that wasn't satisfying, chat. Tell me that wasn't satisfying. Um, chat, we're still falling. <laughs> I think I broke the game. I guess there's some sort of thing preventing us from actually breaking the game too much. Not sure what that's all about, but apparently Nintendo outsmarted me. 